Zachary Capona Wilson is an NFL quarterback with the New York Jets. His two MVP awards in Super Bowl games at BYU earned him a spot in the 2021 NFL Draft, where the Jets selected him second overall. In today's video, we'll discuss about his most recent scandal involving a friend of his mother's as well as his lifestyle in detail. In the wake of his ex-girlfriend Abby Giles' allegations that he had slept with his mother's close friend, the 22-year-old found himself in the center of a real-life soap opera. Gile, Wilson's former college roommate, is now apparently dating Dax Milne, a wide receiver for the Washington Commanders. There has not been any shortage of drama surrounding who loved his mother and would soon marry his beautiful long-term sweetheart Gile, after she'd supported him for years. Gile accused her ex of sleeping with his mom's closest friend, branding the QB a homie hopper in an Instagram post that has since been deleted. Nicolette Delano, a New Jersey-based Instagram model, was cited at a Yankees game in the Bronx in June with Wilson, who had been rumored to have dated Gile and Milne from a social media. Wilson's most recent Instagram post plays on his humor of the situation as he claims he was on a guy's weekend where he had no cell service. He quoted, What I miss. Regarding her social media turmoil, Wilson's mother, Lisa, has recently called out Satan for lurking, where her son was picked second overall in April 2021. She became an internet sensation. The 49-year-old mother, who was initially mistaken by many fans for his younger sister due to her youthful appearance, was the show's star that night. After Lisa started trending on Twitter, the team's social media presence went from zero to hero. However, not everyone is on board. As Lisa disclosed at the time last year, he couldn't, quote, stand these people treating my mom like garbage, unquote, and so tried to buy her off of Instagram with his new income. A cougar scrimmaged with his mom's best friend isn't Wilson's first time playing the field. Two attractive BYU cheerleaders, Brianna Penrod and Bryn Hayat, accompanied him to his high school prom in 2018. Wilson was born on August 3, 1999 in Draper, Utah. At Corner Canyon High School, he played football and as a high school senior, he rushed for 752 yards and 8 touchdowns. In addition to his 2,986 passing yards and 24 passing touchdowns that year, in the past Wilson had agreed to play quarterback for Boise State University, but then changed his mind and enrolled at Brigham Young University, BYU. In addition to $23 million signing bonus and a fifth year option, the deal includes $35.15 million in guaranteed value by imposing such a heavy strain on the smallest layer of jets. Such huge payloads raise the monetary value of the Jets. It is estimated that the quarterback has a net worth of $10 million taking into account his high salary and sponsorships. The New York Jets have signed Zach Wilson to a four-year, $35,150,681 contract. This contract includes an annual salary of $8,787,670 and a signing bonus of nearly $23 million. With a salary of over $2.2 million in base pay, a cap cost of over $79,000 and a dead cap value of over $28 million, Wilson will earn $28,759,647 in 2022. The New York Jets and Zach Wilson have agreed to terms on a four-year, $35 million deal. There is a $35 million guarantee and a $22,924,132 signing bonus with this contract. Former BYU quarterback Zach Wilson is a top candidate in the 2021 NFL Draft. Wilson confirmed last week that he planned to join the draft after a storied career at BYU. Since then, work has begun on the necessary preparations. After leading BYU to its first 11-win season since 2009, Wilson moved to California on January 5th to prepare for his biggest career interview, the William Morris Agency, also known as WME is the agency representing Wilson, a spokesperson for Hugh Jackman, Jessica Alba, Christian Bale, and Whoopi Goldberg's talent agency, WME, confirmed Wilson's involvement over the weekend. Branded goods from BYU just nine days before the 2021 NFL Draft, Zach Wilson has begun promoting himself in the realm of sponsorships and public relations which might lead him to becoming the face of the New York Jets. Nike Football announced on its Twitter that Wilson is part of their family and has supported the company. But that's not the case. In celebration of their new cooperation, Chipotle created a bowl in honor of the football player. A former NFL quarterback, John Beck, has been hired by the New York Jets to instruct quarterback Zach Wilson. 
directly for a period of time. Back, a 40-year-old veteran of the football field has previously worked with the New York Jets offensive line. Several NFL quarterbacks have worked with him out of the Huntington Beach, California area. He worked with Wilson for a long time and was an important part of the New York Jets' pre-draft evaluation process. In light of how frequently Wilson and Beck contact one another throughout the season, the Jets chose to include Beck in their roster according to coach Robert Saleh. Even in the NFL, the quarterback isn't necessarily the bad guy. The Denver Broncos quarterback, Russell Wilson, is claimed to be a victim of this, although he is now married to Ciara. This is not the first time he has tied the knot. Ashton Meem was Russell's first wife before he filed for divorce in 2014 over suspected extramarital affairs. According to the Gossip Mill, Golden Tate, a fellow Seahawk, is rumored to have committed a crime with Meem. She is Lisa Wilson, the mother of Zach Wilson, formerly Nealman. Nealman's seven children include Gray and Rose. According to the Desert News, the Nealman children were nurtured between Salt Lake City, Utah and Brasilia, where Gary was the United Press International Bureau Chief. Wilson earned seven starts and nine appearances as a true freshman in 2018 at BYU. He became the youngest quarterback to begin a game for BYU when he took the field against Hawaii for the first time in his career. He completed 120 of 182 passes for 1,578 yards, 12 touchdowns and three interceptions in his final season as a starter. After throwing for 317 yards and four touchdowns in 49 to 18 wins over Western Michigan, the 2018 Famous Idaho Potato Bowl MVP was awarded to him. In 2019, Wilson started nine games as a sophomore, throwing for 2,382 yards, 11 touchdowns, and nine interceptions on 199 of 319 attempts. Wilson was awarded BYU's MVP for his efforts in the 38-34 loss to Hawaii in Hawaii Bowl 2019. At a 73.5% completion rate, Wilson broke Steve Young's school passing completion percentage in a season by completing 247 of 336 passes. With 3,692 yards, 33 touchdowns, and 3 interceptions while rushing for 255 yards and 10 scores. He was named 2020 Boca Raton Bulls the Offensive MVP after completing 26 of 34 throws for 425 yards and 3 touchdowns in the 49-23 win over USCF. He will be presented with the Polynesian College Football Player of the Year Award and USC Safety Talaneo Hufanga in 2020. The New York Jets selected Wilson, a highly touted quarterback prospect in the 2021 NFL Draft, second overall as the second of five quarterbacks overall. A four-year deal was signed on July 29, 2021. Wilson made his NFL debut against the Carolina Panthers in the 2021 season, pitting himself against Sam Darnold who had previously played for the New York Jets. A first half interception cost the Jets 14 to 19, but he still threw for 258 yards. Two touchdowns and a two point conversion. Wilson threw two interceptions on his first two pass attempts in the Jets home opener against the Patriots. The Jets lost six to 25 after that. Wilson's first professional win came against the Tennessee Titans in week four after a 0-26 defeat to the Denver Broncos in which he threw for 160 yards with two interceptions. A single interception by Wilson was offset by two touchdown throws and a 297-yard completion percentage. His 53-yard touchdown pass to wide receiver Corey Davis in the fourth quarter put the Jets ahead 24-17, and they went on to win 27-24 in overtime. Wilson became the fourth NFL quarterback behind Zach Mettenberger, Blake Bortles, and Deshaun Kitzer to be intercepted in each of his first five starts when he threw his ninth pick against the Atlanta Falcons. Wilson went down in the second quarter of the Patriots game with a knee injury after being hit by linebacker Matthew Juden. Mike White filled in for him after he was declared out with an injury late in the game, and team went on to lose 13-54. For four games, Wilson was out with a sprained knee ligament following the defeat. Wilson made his comeback in Week 12 and beat the Houston Texans for the first time on the road. During the game, he also scored his first rushing touchdown. Wilson's final win of the season came against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Wilson lost four of his last five games. He improved his turnover differential by not throwing an interception in the five games. Is it right to call Zach Wilson the MILF hunter after his recent scandal? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.